Hi guys, it's Maya. So today's video is another Biologique Recherche review, and I'm going to be talking about the Biomagic Mask. I just have the travel, like, little baby sample size that they gave me when I made a purchase, and for the most part, I think that most of the travel baby sizes, sample sizes are about the same product than what you would buy full size. I know that some brands, like I find with especially a perfume, anytime I try like a little sample size, I feel like it's so much stronger than the full size. So when I buy a full size, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can barely smell it. Where as like the miniature samples are just so amazing in comparison. But for Biologique Recherche, I think that it's pretty consistent. They don't make a stronger version of the product. I feel like the potency levels for the full size and sample sizes are very equal. So I just wanted to give my review on the Biomagic Mask. And I will like to say that I, I just did it on my face. I do have a little bit of self tanner on right now. And I did use placenta cream after uh, it is winter time. I'm in Southern California and it's winter time here and I do have my humidifier on. We're still pretty um, like humid climate, but I will say this is best for a very humid, warm climate. I don't want to use this anytime soon until it just kind of heats up. This is their most drying mask that Biologique makes. It's very tightening. The base is wheat germ. Um, let me see what else. It's like so strong. Made with corn, plankton, and wheat germ extracts. And this is the mask that they call the red carpet mask. And I definitely do feel like this is a good mask to use if you're going to be on camera, if you're going to be photographed anything like that because I did feel very matte after my I, if I were to put on makeup right now it would just like go on so smoothly and I used kind of double the amount of placenta cream that I normally would use after just because I felt so like tight and dry that it just absorbed so perfectly like I have a really good base right now for makeup and I'm happy with that but I will say this isn't something I would use on a regular basis unless I was breaking out or just had super oily skin from the weather or you know anything like that going on which I don't have right now. Uh, I would say my skin is kind of like normal and to be honest I feel like it's really balanced right now because I have stopped using all of the other brands and products that I was using before. I sometimes used to use like a Kate Somerville sulfur cleanser in the shower and I just switched back to uh, the Biologique Recherche VIP Lay O2. So now that I am just consistently using Biologique products, I feel like my skin is very like normal, not oily, and not combo like it used to be, which I think I also stripped a lot of oil off my skin to the point where I really needed to like get rid, control the oil like throughout the day and like use mattifying products. But right now it's just super like perfect, I would say. And I'm going to do another review of the serum tint. Tiens. Sorry, I mispronounced things, but I got two different colors and I have exclusively been using those during the day. So I will do a review on that in another video. But back to the Biomagic Mask, I will say this is something great to have in like your stocks. And, you know, if you like to mask, if you like having something, you know, if you like that's stronger than Mask Vivant. I compare this, like Mask Vivant isn't as 
purifying as this. I feel like anytime I use Mask Vivant, it has a great smell. It has a great, you know, consistency, but it's not really like mattifying in any way on my skin. It just kind of normalizes it, if that makes sense. Uh, it doesn't really put moisture back in, but it doesn't like strip anything away. This I feel like strips of just the slightest bit of moisture and oiliness out of the skin. So if that's what you're looking for, that's the Biomagic Mask. And I highly recommend that uh, maybe to rotate it. Uh, I'm curious also, I, I might purchase this and I might mix it with different masks to kind of get a different consistency because as of now, since it's winter time, I feel like I don't want to over dehydrate my skin. And since it's kind of normal, I not too oily right now that I don't really need this product. But I do think this is a great thing to have. So yeah, Biomagic Mask. Thanks guys, have a good day. I also did want to mention that the recommended use on the mask is about 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. I found that this dried so fast and almost showed up clear. I'm going to insert a photo. It dried so quickly that I wanted to wash it off in like seven to eight minutes and I felt it working. I felt it tightening and I didn't want it to overly tighten and overly dry out my skin. So I took it off about seven, eight minutes, but they do recommend that you can use the oxygen spray to kind of re-wet and reactivate the mask during the process of masking. So the, I haven't tried that yet. That might be something I'll try when I, if I repurchase and if I feel like it, like later on if my skin uh, gets a little bit oily. But as of now, I'm not going to use this until I kind of need to use this. But I think this would also be a great like addition to just anyone experiencing super oily skin it really probably will balance and mattify you. So yeah, that's my recommendation.